Alright, welcome back for another part of Art Telenico Q, or 3, Q, Q Gal, or whatever one that's easier for you, because I still seem that I can't pronounce the name of it right. So, last off, we met, ran into Soma, the deadly assassin, and we ran into this giant cave to escape, and we had a giant cell phone monster, and Saki had to essentially bear down and get, uh, bra I mean, bootstraps up. Anyway. We have a cave to go through. Sheesh, that is a really long drop. Huh? Uh, what's wrong, Aoto? I thought I sensed somebody walking up there. Huh? They're just saying that to scare Saki. No, I'm serious. Let's take a look up. Someone, please help! Sounds like you need a me. What? A girl? <laughs> it's an emergency! Oh, Kampa. That's it. Saki sounds like Kampa. Not. So, I, actually, I'm thinking Kampa and Histoire are one of the same now. <laughs> hey! Are you alright? Please get me down from here! Actually, she sounds more like Histoire. <laughs> what should we do? I have to save her somehow. Uh, hey! I don't want to get involved in any more trouble. What? How can we just ignore her? He's right! We have to go save her! Yeah! Okay, so how do I... How do we do that? Well, we'll figure that out after a battle! Let me handle this. Was it just one wolf? Yeah, my power exceeds limits. Hey, more healing. Alto, do you have a moment? No, I guess we do have a moment because she's just dangling there. <laughs> oh man, key sequences can be really be a pain. I apologize for barging in this late this hour. Are you okay? You have a nightmare, serial murder, and a mask or something? Soma! I have no particular reason to be here, but I'm a little afraid of being alone right now. Saki. I get it. After such an incident, I probably wouldn't want to be alone right now either. Yes, still, I'm sorry. I tried my best not to be a bother to you, but... Saki... Hmm. How about this? Starting tonight, you can come with me any night you want before you go to bed. Really? Yeah, if you talk a little, maybe it'll calm you down and you'll be able to get some sleep better. It'd be such a bother to you, Alto. No, really, I mean it. I've always wanted to know more of you anyway. Alto, we met a few days ago, right? We walk around pretty much all the time, so we haven't had much time to chat. A few days. Only one or two days have actually passed. So, if you don't mind, well, I thought it'd be nice for both of us to talk a little about a night. What do you say? Of course we can. I think it's a splendid idea. Awesome, I'm glad to hear it. Yes, thank you so much, Alto. I look forward to speaking with you at night. Excellent, it's a deal. Alto and Saki's secretive rendezvous operation starts tonight. You're not able to engage in the top topic conversations. And here comes the tutorial. Talk topics are a conversation system where you chat with a heroine while staying at an inn or camp. As the game progresses, many top topics will become available. When staying at an inn or camp, you will spend quality time together discussing these topics with the heroines. When a heroine wishes to speak to you, there will be a corresponding talk icon located in the menu. Once talk is displayed, please try the rest of the inn or camp when one becomes available. After the talk, the conversation spaces will be filled with a diamond. Try to find all the top topics. You'll find talk topics in various places such as dangerous dungeons and towns. They often appear as balls of light. 
And Saki wants to talk, but right now we're gonna go save that lady. Hey, you alright? Of course not, I'm dangling over here. I'm about to fall. She's over there. Alto, let me handle this. I worked all kinds of heights. I don't even consider this a cliff. Hey, I'll be right there to get you. Hang tight. Okay. Don't mind me, just gonna fall. Alto, watch out. All right. All I... right. I got gotcha. you. Oh, here we go. Voices. You did it. Who? <sighs> <sighs> I'm relieved. <sighs> I'm alive. You did it, Alto. That was impressive. What? Uh, uh, really? Anyway, you, why were you up on that cliff? Uh, well, that's... I was just going for a walk and then I got lost. Huh? What? Nothing. Um, hi, I'm Saki. And you are? Oh, and where do you live? I'm Fiddle. I live in Eternus Shaft. Eternus Shaft? That's where we're going. Why don't we tag along with her? That's a good idea, right, Aoto? Uh, sure. I don't see why not. Yes! I'm glad because I have never met a girl around my age before. That's... typically not a good thing. Please be my friend. Oh, of course. Nice to meet you, Saki. <laughs> I'm happy now. Good for you, Saki. Yes! Oh, yeah. Do you mind if I call you Filulun from now on? Filulun? Yes! Filulun! Isn't that such a cute and fabulous name? Uh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> That's a perfect name for you. It matches your clumsiness so well. <laughs> You climbed up there by yourself and couldn't get back down. You were stuck there. That's called being clumsy. Clumsy! Oh, you said it again! Uh, Aoto, it's not nice to call someone clumsy. Uh, sucky. Filulun isn't clumsy at all. She just lacks a little grace and can be careless sometimes. <laughs> sucky, that's not making me feel any better. <laughs> that name really is the best fit for you. Filulun. No, you're so mean. Don't make fun of me. Actually, can you just stop calling me Filulun? Oh, okay. Then what about Philly? Look, we saved her, right? Can we go now? Well, that was something. What's wrong? What was that? That was really pretty. Is it an accessory or something? Uh, huh? Uh, yes, it is. But I have to put it away now, because it's very precious. Very interesting. Uh, all right. We're going to Eternus Shaft, right? This place is full of monsters, so let's get going. Take a nap. Hey, Tots. Aren't you being a little cold to us? When we were about to save her, you seemed pretty reluctant. Not really. That's just the way I am. Besides, I've got a sort of ugly feeling about this. What? 
You'd ignore someone in trouble just because you're getting an ugly feeling? You're a little too gullible. <laughs> Weirdo. I wonder. Finnell joined the party. Wait, really sticking with Finnell? That okay. Formation. Okay, so she's the Ravatel, and she's a level higher. Uh, status. Okay, let's take a look at Fennel here. Normal tires. Heck. Age 17, Y.O. Height 160 centimeters, that's... That's not bad. 104 pounds. Likes stars and fortunes. Dislikes is... Kururu Kuru No, it's Kururu Kuru I've Quote, I'm not clumsy She's Yokohara Bisco's mascot girl She's pretty clumsy and makes people nervous with her reckless actions She's a typical tsundere Who hates the fact that she's so stubborn Her cheerfulness is good for a waitress But she's too frank to be a good salesperson she can be childish and get really serious and competitive when it comes to any kind of competition. She loves cold treats like ice cream and snow cones, but because she always so careless, she always gets a brain freeze. Isn't that cute? Okay, we continue all the way over here. We get nothing. Nothing but a boss battle. I'll do my best. I'll finish him off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah! Yeah! I'm coming! Please keep up the pace! Oh, one will survive. Nope, no it didn't. Wow! That's fabulous! Amazing how he got the last hit in. Everybody rest up. I excuse me. Oh. What's this one now? That sounded like Fennel. I'm coming in, Kay. Sure. Sorry for barging in on you on this late of night. What happened? I figured I haven't thanked you properly for helping me out. All that, don't worry about it. Still, I put you in danger. Not really. I'm a steeple- I'm a steeplejack. You know I work in- What the hell was that? My PlayStation 3 just sneezed. I'm a stubblejack, you know. I worked in a higher and more dangerous places than that. It was nothing. What? You work in more dangerous places than that? Like, all the time? Yep. It's kind of brutal. Steeps. My boss is a real hard ass. Construction on the edge of a steep cliff is common. Once I had to work on an overhang like a rock climber. What? Alto, are you for real? That's awesome. It's certainly not. Well, I guess it takes a certain type to do the job, I'm just not sure I you could do it. No thanks, I pass anyway. But thanks again for saving me, I just wanted to say that. You know, I think you're silly at first, but I figured you were just a violent jerk, but after today I've changed my mind. Violent jerk? Also, it's fine to you, I think we should talk again. Talk at night again. Are you asking me or telling me? Okay. Thanks, okay, I'm going to bed. Nighty night. Sleep well. Sleep to you. You can now engage in the talk topic conversation with Finno. So there's a couple of ladies that can use some talking to, so let's get that out of the way. Let's do Saki first. Saki, you still there? Ah, Alto, you came to talk with me. Wow. Okay, what happened? Do you you remember how you turned those people into cakes? I turned people into cakes? Yeah, you lost part of your memory. We were attacked by the Clustanian soldiers. We were spared because you prayed. Not only that, you turned them into cakes. They were all huge cakes. Really? I wish I could remember that. Do you like cakes or something? Is there a girl that doesn't? Mmm... Probably. I guess you're right. I kind of want to eat them. Oh. I have a question for you. Those cakes are transformed humans. That means they may look like cake, but what about the taste? 
Please don't say such scary things, Alto. I thought they were just simply tasty. I don't want to eat cakes for a while. <laughs> okay, about Philly. I don't know if Philly was such a good athlete. Finnell, why do you say that? Because she climbed really high. That could be impossible for me. I don't think so. A real athlete can get herself down for where she had climbed up to. It's more like she's just a tomboy who doesn't know her own limits. Or a thoughtless child. I think she's just energetic. She's so cute, I think it's a good thing. I guess what you're saying may be true, but... Besides, Saki's a little jealous of Philly. I want to be a girl like her who can climb up to such a high place all by herself. I don't know about that. If her smoke lasted until she got down by herself, that would be a different story. Stripping is risky. <laughs> I kind of don't want to do this one. By the way, to get more power, you have to strip off clothes, right? Yes, the more clothes I take off, the more power I'll be given by the goddess. I see. Maybe we should just bring a hot water bottle with us. Why? On a cold day when it's windy, if you take your clothes off, you'll catch a cold. Or get a stomach ache. You don't need to worry about that. The more clothes I take off, the more embarrassed I'll get, and the hotter my body will get. Okay. Did you say something really suggestive? I could be wrong. Is this really good? Otto, you have a rescue injection, right? Yeah, I do. What? You don't look all that well. It really is an injection needle. Is it really safe? Well, we found it in a treasure chest out in the mountains where any could be contaminated by all sorts of stuff, but sure. Safe? What? Because there are different types of injections like... Uh... Trauma musculars or depot. So you can stick a needle in the right spot. I never thought of that. We aren't professionals. Do you think it's safe for us to use this by ourselves? <laughs> now I'm a little scared. Why don't we use something else next time? Looks like that injection needle one was a level 2 topic. <laughs> HP recovered! Let's talk to Fennel. Fennel, coming in. Oh, Alto, what's up? You want to talk to me? Eh, uh, sure. What are you doing? Hey, do you hate heights? And not necessarily. I think I don't think they're scary. Sooner, Sooner, why couldn't you get down by yourself? If you weren't scared, you could have helped yourself, right? Th that's that's not. It's not that I hate heights. I just can't walk along such thin paths. Oh, I understand what you mean. There's certainly any room for my feet on that cliff. Standing there, I felt like I was gonna get inhaled by the ground way below. Kind of understand what you're saying. I felt the same when I first started this job. But then, you shouldn't go to such places by yourself. It wasn't my choice. Did you say something? No, I didn't say anything. It's unique. Also, your weapons are pretty unique. I feel awkward doing this, but yeah, they are. Drills, swords, claws. It's like a fruit parfait of, parfait of weapons. Well, that's a gross way to put it, but I see what you mean. It's because of the variety I use my weapon for various different situations. Maybe, but... If anything, it's a little heavy. That's the only problem. They might want to continue, but consider changing weapons. Okay, sir. HP recovered! Okay. If I walk back, will I find the topic? Or another battle? You won't interrupt us. Good job. Okay, if I walk back, will I find a topic or not? Because it's saying about if you go around it, around lots of places, you'll find topics. I'll do my best. But I don't want to go back to the. Now I'll do it. Right in the AOE. Bye bye. Well, only one more, and then we're good to go in this entire map. Probably get to the next area. Take care of this, rest up, and then just hurry on to the next map. You won't interrupt it. Yeah. 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 
Forgetting that square is the a hit and X is the execute. Wow, that's fabulous! Well, that's pretty good. Beat the enemies quickly enough, though. Alright, now there's no more encounters, I can take my time and moon jump. Bronze medal obtained, or material. Jump, moon jump. Big ribbon obtained. Okay, uh, what's... Well, Saki needs more defense. Because it seems like Saki's base HP is pretty low. Capsules. Blech. Another bronze material. Oh, can't jump up there. Gotta walk around. Walking around. Christmas tree in the blue heavenly trails. To the world map. And looks like from here we can go to the Eternus Shaft. But I'm gonna stop here and I'm gonna take a little break. I'm gonna go get me some lunch. I'm gonna go take me an antibiotic. And then we'll be back with another part of Artelenico 3. Or Q. Kuga. Whichever one. See you folks next time.